William Boston wasn't from Boston and didn't like to be called Bill. His name was William, he went by William, and that was that. Mm -hmm. Nicknames were only for Nick, he thought. That's why they're called nicknames, because they belong to Nick. There were no Will names, but there was a will to do something, and so William did. It was a hot day like any other in the desert. Avelinas were sweating, moles drinking lemonade, and snakes dousing themselves in SPF 150 sunscreen to prevent their skin from getting scaly. William didn't care for many things, but he did have one mm -hmm. friend, a scorpion named Chester. Chester was a very deadly thing, and yet him and William would always get along swimmingly. Chester would never raise his tail or even joke about pinching William. They would only enjoy the finer things. Mother didn't approve of Chester. She didn't trust him. A point, a point, a point, a point, she would say. And a point, a point, a point with poison in its point. But what was the point in her argument? She couldn't get through to William Boston, who wasn't and never had been to Boston, might I add. And Chester hadn't either. Him and William only stuck with what they knew. And that was the finer thing and the desert. But the desert wasn't the most welcoming place, and as it was mentioned prior, William did not care for much. Well, of course he did care for Chester. But Mother didn't approve of Chester. She would always warn William, scorpions aren't people. But William knew that, and would tell his mom, yes, mom, I knew that already. To which his mother would reply, yes, you are a very smart, handsome boy, and I love you very much. This would embarrass William as Chester would laugh and 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 laugh. Finally, William couldn't take it anymore. The writing had gotten lazy and repetitive, so he snapped at Chester. Stop laughing! And so he did. Ah! When William woke up, he was irritated to realize that the animation was still going on and that he was in a very sore condition with a mighty pain. To top it off, his mom was still going on and on about how she was right about Chester. <gasps> William was disappointed. He didn't get to do much, the story didn't go anywhere, and it was really repetitive. He cursed the writing and structure of it all, which bothered the narrator, who decided to immediately stop.